Hey all, Rough Sea RV TV, welcome. Check it out, we're on Shea Road. You remember this road? Right here at the signs. This is the entrance to the Bureau Land Management BLM camp area. This used to be uh, where the van build was. Which is going to be no more. No more van build. Look at the mountains. We're heading over to the races in Parker. Supposed to be best in the desert. Their Blue Water Casino is sponsoring Lucas Oil, all that. I left Quartzsite a little bit ago. There's a Dusty Nugget all loaded up. So let's head on over to the camp area next to the airport. get turned around to here. I just drove past the area where the van build used to be. I think last year there was over 400 in attendance here. It was quite a few. Came out and filmed it. Right here on the left hand side. See a couple rigs out there. It's too bad someone else doesn't take that over. Keep it going. Maybe they will. I don't know course with all the virus stuff but right there on the left all this property here it's all uh, 14 day dispersed camping but uh, that's where the magic happened a lot of people got their rigs worked on there all right well let's head on into Parker yay <laughs> Now there's a cool view, huh? Look at that hillside. You got a big wash down there. It is a pretty area. I li always like Shea Road. Right here at this cattle grate is where the Crit Colorado River Indian Tribe property line is right here and you see those trailers off to the right that's part of the track the track is a lot of miles long I'm not exactly sure I do I know they do a few laps they used to end up down at the casino but not anymore This road is just brutal, rough and brutal. But off to the right, that's where all the track is. You can probably come out here and be a spectator. Maybe we'll bring the buggy back out here, I don't know. Anyway, let me kick the camera off. When I get over close to the airport, we'll kick it back on. Well, we made it. This is where all the pit crews, racers stage. They charged me $40 to camp here. It's either that or go way out on Shea Road, which would have been a long ways away, but what the heck, we're here. We're going to film it, hopefully. And it is hot. It's in the mid-90s here. This is all part of the Crit Colorado River Indian Tribe Reservation. The airport's right off the left. There is zero chance of flying a drone here. So we're just going to film it from the ground.
what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a place to park, then we'll run into town. I'm doubling back here. I'm gonna park this thing, get the buggy unloaded, then we're gonna run into Parker. I just found out that that's where all the registration is, and you're gonna see a bunch of different ATVs, UTVs, and off-road vehicles down there. So let me get parked, and we'll head on into town. Welcome back. This is the main drag of uh, Main Street of Parker. We'll cut through downtown here. We're going to go see some off road vehicles. Yay! Got part of downtown blocked off up here. This is Joshua Avenue. Hopefully we can make it up by the hardware store. Then we'll just park and walk around. There's Ace Hardware. They got lumber there. That's about the main place to get supplies here around Parker. Let's go clear up to Havasu like Home Depot and Lowe's. Okay, they got it blocked off down that way. Let me get turned around. There's all kinds of little businesses down here. If you ever get a chance, walk around. They got some pretty cool shops. Parker's a unique little town. Just gonna park. Look at that right over there in front of Ace Hardware sign. Looks good to me. Well, let's go for a walk. Wow, look at all this. Look at all the ATVs, off-roaders. This is where they register. There's the official Best in the Desert t-shirt. <laughs> this is where you get registered to race. Very expensive hobby. To do this stuff. A lot of these guys are sponsored. But hey, if you enjoy it, why not? See a lot of tents. Cool. <laughs> CST tires. But they sell a few at a race. My goodness. Well, it looks like we're about at the end of it. We'll walk back up the other side. What do you think? Should I enter the Dusty Nugget? Maybe they got a prize for going slow.
Well, I'm just in the way down here. Let's go to the other side. We'll walk back up. But look at all the sponsor stickers on the different vehicles. Big bucks. What's this one? Seal savers. Doesn't look very busy. Big old fuel tank on that thing. Here you go. That'll get you out to the gold mine and back. <laughs> J. Buck. What's here? Optima batteries. Car and truck tech. Oh, wow. Look at this one. There you go. JCR Motorsports. ICR. Jeep Speed Race Series. What else we got? RPM off road. Wow, that's a bright orange, huh? Look at the service truck. My goodness. Oh, look at the pink one for the ladies. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Wow. Wonder how many tires they go through. I bet of quite a few. These are the bigger rigs to here. Customized Jeep. You can tell I'm not a race person. <laughs> Looks like some vendors down that way. Get something to eat. FX factory. Wow, look at that setup. Here's a green one. Woof. Max Cash Loan Center sponsor. Well, cool. Looks like we're about at the end of it. We'll head back out. There's supposed to be some races this afternoon. I'll film some of them. Look at that thing. Wow, Fox. There you go. There's my new turbo Polaris. <laughs> okay. I couldn't even afford to fuel on one of these things. They eat it. Look at Method Race Wheels. Fun. All right, let's head back to the buggy. There is a much bigger race in January called the Parker 425. This is not the big one. But they have same sponsor. Yeah, if you get a chance, walk down around all these little shops. They got a little bit of everything down here. There's Terry's Health and Water Store. There's the nugget. Yay. Yeah, I don't think I'd win much. <laughs> Prize for going slow. All right. Let's get out of here. Well, let's do this while we're down here in the downtown area. Let's uh, loop around. See what we can see getting out of here. It's supposed to be a huge weather event starting Sunday. 
temperatures are dropping like rocks, they said. There's a lumber yard on the right. Look at this registration booth. They're going to look at me and say, no way. <laughs> Road closed, especially to the dusty nugget. <laughs> Keep going. Looks like they're uh, offloading their uh, rigs down here. That was a fancy paint job. But my hat's off to these guys. What a effort, hobby, sport, and expense to uh, race in one of these things. In case you're wondering, there's the county jail on the right. It's the La Paz County Sheriff's Department. Serving La Paz County. Well, we'll go up one more block. That one's cut off. Kind of like the residential area here. Parker, Parker's a pretty good sized town. Full time town. People live here year round. A lot of boats, boaters, storage. Also the Crit Nation uh, Indian Reservation. All their headquarters is here. Quite a bit going. This is also the county seat. All the county offices are here in Parker. everything being blocked off there is a food store there food city auto zone on the left there's a dollar store on to the left right down the street wells fargo and banks and everything are up through here we'll go back up main drag and get out of here road closed off to the right, there's a Ford dealer here. There's also a Chevy dealer at the end of town. Wow, that's a nice rig in that trailer. All right, back on 95. We're gonna, let's see what I need. We'll just head back to the campground, go back to the van for a while, and then I'll uh, try to find something to film. Maybe we can catch a race. I know the they said uh, some of the smaller class off-road races will be this afternoon. They got time trials. They don't see what else we can catch. There's the Ford dealer on the right. And then that Napa, they're a huge sponsor of a bunch of these races, the Napa dealer there. Kind of the 50 cent tour of downtown Parker. Tire shop there on the right. Post office is up here a little bit. And off the left, they got, I don't know, what is that? Propane. There's a towing company up here. More low shops right there. Then the Kofa restaurant, that thing's been there forever, as long as I've been coming down here. That's it. All right, well, let's head back out to uh, the camping area. It. 
One nice thing, they're running water trucks out here. Keeps the dust down. But when these races start up, you can't see nothing. I've been to that 425 trying to watch it. It's almost impossible to see them. They also have helicopters that fly over this and film it. And we're right next to the airport, so there's zero chance of me flying the drone here. None. Well, doesn't look like too many new folks. See a lot of young young people with ATVs. I guess they have uh, kid races out here too. Uh, that's a little one, huh? Little off roader. A lot of RVs. Definitely different. guy I need to race him huh <laughs> I need some of them fancy lights on the back of the buggy too gonna have to check into that look at all the car hauling trailers too look at this load here SPS head down to the van I'll check see when uh, those time trials start maybe we can catch them on video look that one has its own tent SS nice Pretty sure, I know Blue Water sponsors this, and then also uh, Lucas Oil, which are huge. That's all you see is sponsor tents everywhere. You know, with the COVID stuff going around, this is probably the first event they've had in quite a while. Not sure. like a lot more rigs coming in probably after registering downtown wow look at that matching trailer right there pick up and trailer Gibbs racing wow look at this setup look at the they got a generator semi truck fancy tent Toyo tires Wow, there's that method uh, one. said method on it. Those are probably the big boys. You see a lot of them in January. Get out of the way of the law enforcement here. Almost up to the van. I kind of picked down here to be a little farther away from all the dust. <laughs> we're very close, right next to the runway, but we're very close to 95 too. There's the van and the trailer. Let me pull in here. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna get parked. We'll wait a little while and then hopefully go up and catch some of this uh, racing. 
Looks like a few clouds rolling in. All right, I'll be back. Here we go. Look at the pea on the mountain. See it way out there for Parker. That's out by Shea Road. That that's all Shea Road on that side. I checked the track is definitely 23 miles long. Each class does at least three or four laps, which is 75 to 100 miles. For spectator, look at all the dust. They're already started their time trials up here. They really don't have a lot for spectators up here where these cars are parked. You can see them from a distance or go over to Shave Road. So, but this is my first time at one of these come in here this far and camp and everything. It sure is hot though. All right, well, I'm gonna find a place to park. We'll see a little bit of this racing action. Next video, gonna be back up north. Got a couple product reviews to do. Getting ready for the fall. We got a couple small trips gonna happen within about oh, a week, week and a half. We're heading to the mountains, yay.